Hey guys, I'm Munazil and welcome to back to Twip. Uh, what we are going to do for you guys is right before you read Rebirth, you have a lot of questions because a lot of people that are following comics right now may not be following the New 52 or maybe like Marvel readers like me who want to jump into Rebirth and see what it's all about. But for that, you would need to find out a lot more about how did Rebirth come along and what is the state of the New 52. Over the next few days, me, Ahmed and Yamin are going to be doing a bunch of videos that explain where the characters are in the new 52 the major players in rebirth where they are in new 52 and where their state is right when rebirth comes along we'll be talking about the green lantern core hal jordan superman batman wonder woman flash flashpoint convergence everything that has happened so far that has either led to the creation of new 52 or has led directly to the creation of rebirth First of all, Rebirth is not a reboot, and not in the traditional sense of what you understand as a dirty word in the comic book industry. Rebirth is basically um, a retelling of the DC universe. Rebirth is a mission statement by DC. Rebirth is their way of telling us that this is the way forward. Too many things have been lost or too many things have been changed in favor of, I don't know, garnering new fans. Um, so basically what they want to do is bring back DC to the glory days of how it was. Is, the, is Rebirth a complete slate clean? No, it's not. Um, it is going to be somehow Jeff Jones is a two year long plan where he's going to integrate everything that exists in the New 52 with Rebirth. Rebirth in a sense basically brings back the golden days of DC. But it's not a complete reboot like the New 52 was. When they started New 52, they just wiped the slate clean and they just started fresh. In Rebirth, we see the sense of the 80 years of continuity that DC has, that bearing down on the storytelling and how it, you know, all matters in the end. So while we're not very clear as to how Rebirth is going to end up looking like, we know for a fact Rebirth is giving us a brand new universe to play with, with fan favorite groups and characters probably coming back. We'll talk a little bit more detail about that when we do the Rebirth review, which will be between me, Yamin and Ahmed as well. The difference is between Rebirth and New 52. It is not, New 52 was a complete reboot. Rebirth is not. Rebirth is bringing back characters. New 52 was about getting rid of characters that DC thought was not helping their storytelling in any way or form. The Rebirth is about legacy. New 52 was not about legacy. Uh, rebirth is about hope. New 52 was not really about hope. Those are the basic um, differences between Rebirth uh, as to how it's going into the universe that it is and New 52. But for right now, the idea is that a Rebirth is going to bring back the golden days of DC Comics. And I, for one, you know, even as a Marvel fan, can't be more excited to see what comes up next.